were all born to be free. It's your liberty, you know. It's, uh, it's a God-given right. Violate the law, you deserve to pay for your crime, but if you're innocent, you shouldn't be convicted for it, nothing. On December 20th, 1970, a fire swept through the Pioneer Hotel in Tucson, Arizona. 29 people died as a result, making it the deadliest fire in Arizona history. At the hotel that night was 16-year-old Lewis Taylor, who helped people escape from the burning building. Police questioned Taylor for 19 hours and charged him with starting the fire. Taylor was convicted of 28 murders and sentenced to life in prison with no chance of parole. It just it started off, you know, it was like it was a, it was a party there, you know, and like I said, some man went upstairs, hollered there was a fire and stuff, you know, so uh, knowing me, I think I can save the world all the time, so I ran up there, you know, and like I said, I mean, we tried to put it out, we couldn't put it out, so we started breaking people out, you know, and saving kids, and the next thing you know, they, they wanted, hey, we want to come by the station, just give us a little statement, I know you were a witness and you were helping, I said, sure, you know, you think you're not going to be, you know, uh, you know, interrogated and be wrongfully convicted, but yeah, it's just... You know, it's just it's just really a tale of two tragedies, the Pioneer International Hotel fire and my conviction. Since his conviction, many people question if this was justice. With new information uncovered by 60 Minutes in the Arizona Justice Project, the case was reopened. Lewis Taylor uh, was convicted very quickly um, and may not have had all the due process that he would get now. Uh, I think he would get very different representation now than a black teenage male got in Tucson, Arizona in the 70s. I think there was some prejudice involved. And, you know, one of the main factors in the Pioneer Hotel case is that the fire science at the time has now been discredited. So the information that they used to say it was an arson fire is now contradicted. So the current fire science would look at that evidence differently, and that's kind of what happened in this case. 2013 science applied to a 1970 fire says we don't know. So we don't know and probably never will know unless fire science changes whether the Pioneer Hotel was an accidental fire, electrical fire, or in fact an arson. Without an arson, there cannot be a conviction for arson. And that was the cornerstone of releasing Lewis Taylor is that now we know that we don't know if it was an arson. And unfortunately, he was prosecuted by a very unscrupulous prosecutor. Uh, information was withheld uh, from the defense team. And the prosecutor back then was so aggressive, he asked that Lewis Taylor be put to death for that fire. And the jury refused and gave him life, which led us 40 years later to find out uh, that a mistake had been made. Unwilling to drop the charges, Pima County attorneys instead offered him a plea deal. In April 2013, Taylor pled no contest while maintaining his innocence and walked out of prison a free man after serving 42 years. You know, I'm just taking one step at a time. You know, you, know, you can't catch up. Once you lose 42 years, you just got to forget about that and go for it. Uh, Lewis Taylor is a remarkable man. Recognize, uh, he, he, you know, he's been in prison from age basically 18 to uh, 59. So the world he went in and the world he came out were two different worlds. He's remarkably forgiving of the people that put him in prison. He's remarkably able to put aside the taking away of the bulk of his life and appreciating that he has his life back now. I mean, why would you be bitter? The rest of your life would be bitter, you know? I forgive him. I'm just like, keep picking up the pieces when I was 17, but only I'm older now, you know? So, you know, we're mortals, so we all gracefully get old, and uh, that's part of the web of life, you know? <laughs>